is easy things to draw. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to draw uh, Mario for Mario Kart, in case you didn't notice from the intro. And uh, so this is going to be a little bit more complicated, right? Because you're drawing Mario inside a cart. This isn't just the usual, like, head portrait thing or the just, like, character body. You know, this is like... Um, this is pretty, this is a little, not complicated, I'll make it easy. And so I'm going to go over the tools a little bit. I'm using this uh, regular pencil to kind of, just kind of do pencil-y type things. I'm going to use several microns. Uh, I'm going to use more stuff. But a lot of that stuff will be on the screen. I'm going to have an eraser. Uh, whoops, the daisy. Some stuff fell over back here. And uh, anyways, let's get into it. Uh, well, first of all, I want to go over some like thought things, for uh, some concepts, okay? So, we're going to draw Mario on the card, and I want you to kind of remember this. Uh, it's kind of like perspective. If you haven't seen my perspective uh, video, please go watch it right now. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about perspective, especially when it comes to the car. It's a little bit different when you have just a character standing there. It's not, you, there's barely any perspective, you know? The feet, you know, that's kind of it. But when you have the car, you have this entire contraption, right, in space. I'm just going to doodle this real quick. This entire contraption in space. And even though it's a small, kind of fictional looking car, I want you to kind of think about something. I want you to think of his car as a box or cube. You know, I want you to have that in your mind. And that's kind of the way we're really going to draw it to start out with. Now, I'm going to assume that you know how to draw a cube, right? I hope so. If you don't know how to draw a cube, let's go over that really quick, okay? You draw a square in, I'm not being condescending, uh, you draw a square, another square, but basically you draw two squares, I already did in the wrong order, you draw two squares, you have that square, you have the same square, and then you connect them, right, you have this cube, you have this cube shape, right, should be easy, you don't really need much perspective for that at all, really, or anything. So I kind of want to think about the car in those terms. I want to think about the car within a kind of rectangular box. You know, whether it be like a warp box, because the front of it is bigger or smaller. You know, tires in the front are smaller than the back tires. And I want you kind of to remember that in your mind. You know, you might, you know, we're going to kind of draw the box out. You know what I mean? And then you throw the ellipses on the side of that box as well. But... We're going to get into that. So another thing is I want you to like realize how this box sits down in space, you know. So with Mario, especially this one, we're going to be looking down on that box. So the, the horizon line, which I told you, if you look out in the horizon, and I'm going to go over that really quick. Like I said, check that perspective video out, but we'll go over it really, really quick, okay? Um, if you look out into like a bunch of buildings, things like that, you're going to see the horizon. That's the point at which you really cannot see anything anymore, everything dissipates. It's going to get so small till you can't see it no more, right? That's kind of what we call the horizon line. And um, whether how low and how high it is matters, right? So for example, if, real quick, if the car was like right here, right? Let's say the front of the car was right there, and the horizon line is right here, we're going to see the bottom of that car. You know what I mean? If it's right on the horizon line, we're going to see the side of that car, the front of it, right? And then if we're, we're if that horizon line is above the car, it's going to look like that. We're looking down upon it. And that's kind of the view that we're going to do. We're going to have a slightly looking down upon this car. The horizon line is going to be a little bit higher. If that's complicated, please, please, please check out that video beforehand. Just a couple of things to keep in mind. This is just some frameworks to remember before we get into the actual drawing. So, and we're gonna go over it again, don't worry about it. If it's, if it's still confusing, I'm gonna go over it in the drawing and we'll talk about it, all right? So, just a couple of things to point out. Right now, let's uh, mark the paper so I don't go off the page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the kind of construction of Mario and then the cart, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna draw very thick, and I'm gonna take that paper and slide it underneath the other paper, okay? This is regular paper. So, circle there for Mario's head for placement. And I'm going to draw very dark so you guys can see on camera. And I'm going to slide that paper underneath, okay? His body here. Honestly, it's just like I'm just drawing an egg shape very vaguely. And now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out... The horizon line will probably be like about here, honestly. You know, 
And I'm not even really think. Don't even think about that, okay? Don't think about the horizon line right now. What I'm gonna think about is I'm gonna think about the front of that car, and I'm gonna draw very lightly, but I want to throw stuff down so that I can correct it, okay? And remember, there's a front side, just like a cube. You gotta think of that front side and the side side. Wow. You need to think of that front plane and that side plane. You know, that's things you gotta keep in mind. You know. And like I said, I'm drawing messy, you know what I mean, right now. Just thinking about that wacky, kind of jacked up box I'm drawing because his back tire is a little higher than... His back tires are higher than the front ones. And I'm making that a little bit longer here in the front. See, I'm always thinking about that, those corners. Thinking about those corners. You know when, you, uh, when you're when you like a little kid and... You get inside of a box, right? Like that, like from, I don't know, like a present that you got with a huge freaking box. You get inside and you pretend. I don't know if kids do that anymore because we were poor, right? So I don't know if kids still do that now because everybody's got iPads and stuff. But we would play around with a box and be kind of cool. So this is the front plane of the car. And the car, if you know Mario Kart's car, it angles forward at the front. You know what I mean? It's not just a flat wall. It kind of uh, has that peak shape to it. If we're going to construct it out. Just like in the perspective video, like I said, try to watch that before this. Uh, just like in the perspective video, um, all the vertical lines like this, they're all going to be parallel to each other for the most part. For the most part, pretty much, you know, there might be some slight deviation if they if they kind of they might all go to some vanishing point over there, but they're all just to keep it simple. They're all gonna be more or less parallel-ish, so just keep that in mind, right? All the vertical, all the horizontals are horizontal. Same thing with these. Well, not so much with the vertical, but the horizontal so far, all like that. The front of his car, I'm thinking of it as super, super simple shapes. Uh, what I recommend is checking out Mario Kart, right? See what car you like the best. Not the motorcycle, just the car you like the best. Motorcycle's totally different. You know, totally different shape. I guess you could do that. And then um, I would say try to draw it simplistically. Think of what shapes make it up. You know what I mean? And then try as hard as you can to memorize that thing and try to draw it a bunch. I only memorized like this really vague, like his generic one, you know, his generic heart. But I remember it in simple shapes, you know, like blocky, blocky shapes. I guess the hardest part of this whole drawing is not going to be Mario, it's going to be the car. And remember, this is still the underlay right here. We're trying to get as much structure as we can down so that... We can kind of go into it. See, we're still thinking about that box on the outside, but that box is a framework for the planes and where things are going. Uh, see, I'm kind of cutting into it now. So here's the part everybody has uh, an issue with. It would be the wheels, right? That's why you got to keep these lines parallel, because I'm going to find the wheel. And that's why you need those lines parallel right there, so that you won't get super confused. And then you're going to have an ellipse, right? How do you want that ellipse? Well, for one, all the my ellipses, the widest point, okay, check it out. The widest point of any ellipse right there. What's the widest, right? Bam, right there. That's the widest. I think they call it major axis, minor axis. I did a video on it on my other channel, on the Enzyme Art channel. Um, so this is a minor axis right here, the smallest. And then the major axis is where it's the biggest. The major axis is totally vertical. Totally straight up in this drawing. Okay? And this drawing that we're doing, we're keep it simple. So that means when you draw a circle, the widest point is going to be the top and the bottom right there. Does that make sense? The hard part is going to be how big, how how fat are you going to make it, you know what I mean? And that depends on what angle, you know, that, that he's at us. So, 
if you were drawing, let's just say you're drawing a bunch, right? Is that on screen? Okay, is that on screen? Cool. So, let's say you're looking at a coin, right? Or the tire itself. If you're looking at right the front of the tire, you're going to see that, right? A big fat, just bam. And as it turns, right? Let's say you turn it that way. You're going to see more and more of one side of it, right? More and more until you see, let's put that up there. The more it turns, that's going to get bigger, that side of it. Right? And the more you're going to see into the tire itself. So, just try to make it wide. Not too wide like that, because that would be like completely vertical. Where you're seeing the inside of it. You know, it's completely 90 degrees to us or whatever. But make it three quarter. And it, just about that, just approximate it. You know what I mean? Sorry if this is getting complicated. <laughs> Ask questions. Ask questions, guys. Please. And he has this box section where I think it's for repair or something like that. I actually don't know what it's for. I'm not going to lie. Protection, I'm assuming. There's this just simple box that he has on the side of that car. And then, okay, you get the front tire and the back tire. Same thing. Back tire is huge. This is a freaking go kart, you know. And if it helps you, find both sides of it. You know what I mean? Find both ellipses. Remember, same thing, same rule. Vertical. Let me see that. Is that becoming a mess? Sorry about that. It's running into that stuff. Sorry. Horizontal, any horizontal line, it's going to be parallel. And you can't see that side of that tire because it's like that, right? So you basically have like a soda can kind of thing. You got cans, essentially soda cans. Those shapes. You have the engine here. And that's basically a tube sticking out the side. That you can make any size you want or make several if you want. It, but it works the same way, you know. It is kind of kind of a cone, I like to think about it. We'll go into we're going to go into all this stuff again. Don't worry, because I'm going to put this is the underlay. I'm going to go over it, trace over the detail, and I'm going to talk about all this stuff again, okay? Don't worry. The wheel. I'm going to follow this line all the way through vertical. Try to make as even as I can. And you're going to see the tire on the other side of him. Same thing. Imagine one long tube stuck through. Same thing. Right? That's what I told you. Think about it like a box. Hold on. That might be... Now, this is why we do underlays, by the way. This is, you know... The reason I'm doing this is for that reason. That box is also on this side. Follow that box all the way through. All the way through. Connect it. You're just connecting the dots on the other side. Now, alrighty. Let's get into the Mario face. That's going to be hard, right? It's kind of small. It's already a mess. I'm going to throw his hands around the wheel and I'm going to make a very, very simplistic body. The nose. So now let's take our underlay. And we're going to grab it and slide it under another piece of paper. And this is regular printer paper, by the way. I cannot get this going. Come on. All right. One piece of paper. And this is regular printer paper, like I said. It's not um, 
For some reason, for some reason, people think it's tracing paper. It's not. Like printer paper, you can see right through it. You know, like at least uh, to that point. Okay, so we're gonna use this layer as kind of uh, going into more detail. Uh, normally, I would do one layer. I might even. I'm. I'll, this is like another pass. You know what I mean? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the same pencil I was working with, which I cannot find at all. So I'm gonna grab this instead. Uh, Prismacolor Cool Erase. And I'm going to go into the kind of face area first. Uh, I'm going to get him down as a character. And you got to understand that with this, the, the stuff is smaller. You know what I mean? So I'm going to zoom into him right now. So because it's smaller, I'm going to zoom into different sections and zoom out as I you know kind of work more on it. Gonna go in, and I'm just gonna pencil this in lightly, and then I'm gonna go over it with, uh, with uh, what do you call that? With ink. That is nose. It's a circular, circular nose. Going to his eyes. Hopefully, you can see it well enough, though, right? Yeah. Gonna go into his eyes here. And he has pretty blue eyes, right, Mario? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Uh, he's got blue eyes. Eyebrow. I'm gonna put the eye on the other side. The the cool thing about this pencil, actually, which I'm I'm kind of glad I'm using this more than the other one, is this one doesn't go down as well. You know what I mean? In terms, it doesn't actually go that dark even if I push down very hard on it which I am right now it's not doesn't go down very dark so it's kind of frustrating for other drawings but for this one it works great because I'm gonna end up uh, I was gonna say deleting it I was gonna I'm gonna end up uh, getting rid of those other stuff the other parts go down this mustache area Burn of his hat. Top of his hat. Well, at least the, you know, where the brim meets the actual, uh, you know movie part of the hat. Pulling back here, getting the back portion of the hat. Side of the hair, it's got this like two little, kind of sticks out, one, two. The ear. Underneath, well, it's still in focus, right? Okay, so I don't want that thing to punk me. Like one time, I was drawing for a while, and the camera was off, turned off because of space. Space in the camera. Lower lip. He's got kind of a pudgy face, so it is kind of coming around that corner a little bit. Other side of the mustache over there. The M emblem on his hat. So we have a penciled in version right now of the Mario. Going down to his uh, kind of overalls that he's wearing. Let me zoom out a little bit.
And we're going to go down here. His overall is going to come right out from under his neck there. He doesn't have a much of a sternal cladomastoid or any of that. This is very similar to the way I draw when I do a job. You know what I mean? I throw down that underlay, go kind of a second underlay, which is I guess this would be my second underlay in a way. Not really actually because I'm going to I mean, this is the same layer I'm going to have the finished product on. Got the hands here on the wheel. His hands are kind of pudgy, so I'm not really... His hands are, you know, they got that glove, that Sonic glove thing going on. The Mario glove, Sonic glove. Little Mickey Mouse buttons on the overalls. Who's his other arm? I'm going to put the wheel there in his hand first. Actually, can you guys see that? Yeah. I'm going to put the wheel in his hand right here because it's coming on front of his hand. And actually, what's coming in front of the hand is the front of the car there. Let's see. Let me zoom a little bit out again. All right. The front of the car is essentially a box shape, as I kind of talked about before. But now, I can throw a little curve onto it. You know, I don't really have to worry about construction. I can just think about my line. And it really frees up a lot. You know, it really frees you up a whole lot to kind of take care of the quality of line and stuff like that. I guess the quality of line doesn't matter though because I'm just going to go over this with ink in a moment anyway. we got the Mario emblem on the front there. Oh yeah, his shoe. i got to take care of his shoe. Remember the shape that that makes? It's like a bean. You can put a gas pedal here if you want. Put this little gas pedal thing. Shoe, rest of the shoe, side plane of that shoe, remember the front plane, the bottom, sole of that shoe, and then the side plane, which would be the side of the foot. Now kind of the chair he's sitting on. He's sitting on this really crummy, uh, like, I don't know, it looks like a, how do you say it? It's it's a car seat essentially, but it's kind of a really bad, I don't know, I, I don't really like it. It looks like a really bad car seat. Just kind of think about how he's sitting on it and essentially kind of mirror that image, mirror that, his butt there. Let's see it. I always get up because I'm paranoid it's not on camera, you know? I'm like, God, get up. Gotta draw the side plane. 
Let's go. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to do the front. Again, thinking in shapes. That always uh, is a good save. Is thinking in shapes is always really good. It's kind of like round, bumperish part on the front. So it's kind of, it's kind of circular. Let me see this. So this is kind of right here. If I was to draw a line around this, it's kind of circular. Whereas this is straight down. If, I, if that illustrates it, if you're to draw a bunch of ants crawling on it, to so kind of remember that that that's part on the outside is essentially a bumper. Front end it's over over here. Same thing, vertical lines, vertical lines. And I'm gonna take care of this wheel that I put in before because the reason for that is because it's kind of it's very much on front of a lot of the other stuff. So I want to take care of that first. Vertical line again, straight vertical. That kind of all vertical lines are all same, you know. Here, here, for the most part, just close, you know. They don't even have to be dead on, you know what I mean. Just anything that helps. So then you have the outside cylinder as I drew before, right? I mean ellipse. And then there's a kind of one inside of that. What do you call that again? The like the hubcap or something like that. I don't know. I don't know cars, guys. Sorry. And they have this inner portion. You even have that little dot on the inside. Try to. You can just eyeball it. Really center that. Yeah, those three little, uh, I have no clue what this is called. I'm very sorry. And there's treads, but we're not going to do that right now. We're not going to really do that at all, honestly. I'll probably, we're probably going to darken in those tires pretty well. This bumper part kind of comes in front of the tire a little bit, just a tiny bit. Taking care of that box. I'm assuming there's like tools and stuff in there. I'm assuming that's all the. Uh... Man, if anybody knows what that box is right next to, you know, if you know cars, let me know. I was, I was thinking it was the stuff that he. Wow, I'm gonna sound like an idiot. I was thinking it's like the stuff that he throws. You know, the items, pulls them out of there. Might just be a design sense thing. So, okay, see how this bar comes on front. This kind of goes into design language, right? This bar comes in the front, this kind of bumper. It also comes in the side because you want the side to be protected as well.
that has that same bumper on the side. Alrighty. I noticed something. The back tire, the original thing that we did, it's a little too far out. See that? This is way too far out. Hmm. So we're going to have to fix that somehow. I'm going to look at this and try to move it in. Move that, try to move it in about the same space. Because it should be in line with it, you know? Yeah, that makes it that made it fix right there. Move that and pushing it forward on this direction. That's another thing, like when you throw another piece of paper over it, sometimes some glaring things will pop out. Usually I would tell you to pull that thing back over and go back and fix it, but this is a demo, so we're not gonna do that. Let's see that. That kind of eraser, I'm using the eraser at the end of this pencil. Smaller cylinder, uh, what do you mean? Smaller, yeah, ellipse center, same thing. Now, this is also going to go back this kind of exhaust pipe. We're going to move this over here, so it used to be right there. We're going to move it back this direction. I should fill in the gap of this, you know, this information. It should be by his chair. And the back is, you can kind of see the engine itself. The engine itself is a lot of like tubes, things like that. It can be as simple as that. I think simple shapes. It's like a tube going into a box. Go to the other side. We already did that over there. We have the tire again. Actually, so we got the box first. Box on that side, which we can already see underneath that. box down, same bumper on that side, ah, pull that tire, tire's too high, I gotta pull that down, and then erase it with this eraser here. The tire, pulling that back a little bit. Ah, this thing does not erase very well. Oh, I'm sorry, you saw this on a screen. I have my toy here. Ha ha! This is a different car, by the way. I'm not really drawing it from this. But uh, I did want to show you this because this is uh, 
from uh, my birthday event. It's pretty cool. I kind of had it here for kind of inspiration. I don't know. I was going to put it in the video, but yeah. So, right now we have uh, the general uh, kind of pencil in version of this. Let me decoration on the tube here on the exhaust. And all right, so now we're going to get into the inking of it. start the inking process of it. This one I'm going to be using a Micron 8 uh, Pigma and pretty good pen. Pretty good. I uh, want it thick enough but thin enough as well because the thing is the reason I want it thin is because um, we got a lot of small information. You know I might do that bold line again on the outside. I'm not really sure yet. So I'm going to start right here in the eye. And the cool part is, all you have to worry about is your actual, uh, your actual, uh, one second, sorry, I'm thinking. All I have to worry about here is your stroke, you know what I mean? With every layer that you put on top of this, it takes away another part that you have to think about. In the first section, you have to think about mostly proportion. Uh, second part, you're thinking about kind of the design, like the smaller detail. And here, you're thinking about detail in a different way. Truth is, since you're just tracing it, um, a lot of it is not going to be very entertaining on camera, so I'm going to fast forward just a tiny bit. Okay, so you got to pay attention to the straight lines, you know, when you're pulling it. Oh, snap. I even kind of flubbed that, to be honest. I kind of flubbed it, but it'll do, you know what I mean? I actually recommend practicing a warm-up before the inking part of it. I think that would really... Uh, steady your hand, you know what I mean? Because your hand's kind of shaky, especially when you do it in the morning and stuff like that. It's, uh, you know, you never really know. You gotta, like, just practice around before, and then you're really confident, you're like, bam, 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 you know what I'm talking about? You're, like, in that zone. You're, like, in that zone, it feels like you're a robot.
take the same micron and I'm going to make the contour a little bit darker all over the place. So let's uh, start with uh, the coloring process. Uh, I'm going to go over the different colors. So we have red, which otherwise this one is called poppy, and blue. And I'm going to be using this uh, thing I Prismacolor, this Prismacolor pencil that I actually kind of penciled that in there with. I'm going to be using that for the black. You know, because it's already basically a black color pencil. So, let's start with the red. And I'm going to use the eraser to kind of fade back the pencil lines that I put in there. And with that, I'm going to throw in that strong shape. The M here. Push down on this as hard as I can. Let me put the one in his hat as well. Really simple, capital M, nothing crazy. This game, by the way, the new uh, Wii one, is freaking amazing. The one on GameCube kind of disappointed me, the uh, Mario Kart version of the GameCube. But the one on the Wii U, like, I really i am playing that thing like crazy. I think it's 8, right? Is it Mario? eight or six or something. I don't know, but oh, amazing. Oh, amazing. I'm playing it like crazy. Great party game. color I'm leaving a little bit of rim light as I usually do I'm going down to the next red should be his arm uh, you know underneath the underneath the what do you call that overall overalls Pushing down pretty hard on it. This is like I said before. This is one of the few things that I feel would really give me carpal tunnel because I'm pushing, I'm squeezing this and I'm pushing down on it pretty hard to color. So I totally understand how people get that. Continuing down. The next thing would be the top of this box. Cart itself, and this is like essentially you're you're coloring your own uh, you're coloring your very own what do you call that you're coloring your own uh, drawing basically you know like a coloring book it's like you're coloring your own coloring book that's what I was gonna say. And then the front as well. I remember one of the contests I was thinking about was actually a draw your own uh, cart for Mario Kart contest, but I thought that'd be way too hard, right, for people. I think it'd just be way too hard. Leaving some shine there. Same thing over here. Some highlights. I'm 
minimize that highlight. Trying to connect that all the way through. That's it for the red for now. Um, let's go to the blue. Let me sharpen the blue real quick. So I got the blue here, and I'm gonna go like I usually like to take it color by color, you know. He's got light blue eyes. I just don't have that sky blue color with me, unfortunately. So it's just going to have to stay like that. And now we're going to take the brown and we're going to put that along his barely showing hair that might actually be too bright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go in there with a light of that dark brown or not really dark brown, brown umber to make that a little bit darker. And I'm going to continue with a color called True Orange. And True Orange uh, needs to be sharpened. And I don't know where that sharpener is. And this is for a skin tone. I'm not going to push down too heavy because this color tends to make them look a little bit too orange so I'm just going to push down as much as I need to to kind of get the impression that I need And he needs a little bit more pinkish in there, so I'm going to grab that red, slightly go over a little bit, very lightly, to try to mix it a little bit, just a little bit. It's looking a little bit too yellow. And we're going to go back to brown umber because I forgot his shoes are brown. And let's go back to the blue a little bit to kind of put some reflective shadow onto his gloves because that's a white surface. It tends to look reflective blue on it. And now, let's go to this black here, which is essentially the Prismacolor pencil I told you about. For now, what I'm going to do... is I'm going to go over pretty much all of this area right here. See, there's a lot of muck, a lot of uh, contraptions and stuff like that. I'm not really sure what to make of it. All that's going to be kind of grayish. Now whatever I want to be more black, I'm going to push down on that. 
So the gray and the black are going to be the same. I'm going to make with the same tool. I'm going to leave a, is it a highlight over there? Doing that with a tube as well over here on the this kind of tubular air like shape. Kind of bumper like on the front. Really hurting my hand on this one. So with the tires, uh, I'm going to actually go in there and we're going with a with a yellow orange. All those hubcap areas, well, where the hubcap would be. And going into the tires themselves, I'm going with the form, pushing down very hard, and I'm going with the form. It was kind of making the paper buckle. Run here to the outside. Doing the same thing over here at the other tire. Be careful not to rip the paper. I think that's kind of over here this bar. I missed that. Filling in the gaps over here, and now I can take care of this other tire in the exact same way. And with the form. And now what I do is I kind of look it over, you know, and try to see what I missed, you know, refine tiny areas. Because honestly, uh, drawing, coloring, and all that, a lot of it is refinement. You know, like how much do you refine it, etc. You know, it's really up to you. You know, it's up to, it's really your choice. You can uh, choose to refine it as much as you want or as little as you want. Uh, I recommend just spending another like five minutes. You know, I would say like ten minutes. If you, uh, you do something and you're not sure about it, just take another ten minutes just to kind of fix stuff up. Fix stuff up. You know, just to kind of make sure for safekeeping. I want some darker patterns over here on the bottom here. Because I want it to ground it. And maybe I also want some with this black. I'll 
kind of dark down here to show that you know it's kind of connected to the ground. Oops. Try to make that edge real soft as you can. Same thing with this box, tire, tires. Anyways, this has been a really long demo.